Hi guys, if you have a Samsung TV and its problem is black screen, then you are on the right video. I will completely guide you through the whole process of diagnosing the black screen, its common causes, which component could get faulty. I will show you the conditions of black screen and their fixes. So let's begin. Power on your TV from remote and see the display. If you can't see the display, then gently hit the TV screen with your finger. Remember don't put extra force that would result in panel breakage. Do same as I am doing in the video. If you see the screen blinking or flashing when you hit it, then it means that your backlights are working but your panel is faulty. So this is the first condition. We will fix this in later part of the video. Now here is condition number 2. When you power on your Samsung TV and you can hear sound but can't see picture. Now repeat the same thing first by gently hitting the screen. If you can't see screen flashing then take a torch or your cell phone's light and focus it on the screen. This is also called a flashlight test. You are watching we can see the display where, where light is focused on the screen. This means that our panel is working but backlights or inverter area is faulty. So this is condition number 2. Before fixing the problem, I want to know you that there is 80% chances when backlights become faulty, 15% chances of panel not working and 5% chances of inverter area failure. So I will firstly show you backlight replacement method. Remove the back cover, then detach T-cone and all cables. Another important thing that there are many models and different screen sizes, but procedure is same for checking backlights and replacing them. Carefully watch the disassembling, checking and installing the backlights, then turn the TV and remove its front bezel. Then gently lift the screen. Remove the panel fittings. then reflecting sheets, then reflecting paper, till you see the backlights. Now we will need a LED backlight tester to test the backlight strips. Place the red probe on positive point and black on the negative. If backlights are good, all the LED will glow and if anyone is not glowing, then your strips are faulty. In that case, you have to replace all the strips, if you want a better result. In our case, our strips are faulty. I have got new ones and I will test them before installing. You are watching, these are good. Now you will install them and check them with TV powers. So the strips are good now. It's time to assemble back the TV step by step as we have opened it. Place the reflectors, then panel, then attach all the cables and put back cover. Now it's checking time. Our black screen is fixed now. So this is the case when your backlights are not working. Now we will move to the next condition which is inverter area faulty. You can check backlight inverter area by checking the output voltage if it is coming or not. If the voltages are not coming then your inverter section is faulty. Look for any bulk capacitor. If you find one replace it with the same value. But if you can't see any physical abnormality in the inverter area, then inverter IC or SMDs have shortened. In that case, you have to install an external backlight driver. It is very easy to install external backlight driver. If you find any difficulty, I will share my video link in the description on how to add universal backlight driver to any LED TV. Watch that also. Now we will move to the next condition which occurs less that is panel problem. 
so firstly check all dc to dc voltages if these are coming or not if these are coming then it's good i will share a detailed video of mine in the description on how to check dc to dc voltages their values and what are the faults when any one of the voltage is missing if dc to dc voltages are not present then you have to replace dc to dc ic if any one of the voltage is missing then check nearby smd's pf for any shortages if you found one replace it now if all the voltages are present and there is no abnormality in the scalar pcb or t cone and all the values are good then detach all the lvds or fpc cables from scalar pcb and main board and we will clean them with the help of a cleaning solvent like thinner or you can use any cleaning solvent Take a toothbrush and gently clean all the FPC cables and also jacks of scalar PCB and main board for carbon accumulation. After cleaning all the FPC cables and main board, give it some time to dry it. Then put your TV back covers on and see if black screen problem is gone or not. Hope this video will help a lot of guys. Kindly leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. Don't forget to press the bell icon to receive my informative videos as I upload them. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.